what I think would be interesting here is to play a few like this. Or Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Motion Part 56, Sincere. In today's episode, uh, we acknowledge that we have began booking and planning some new projects. We've been on kind of a little sabbatical rest, and we like it because we like the let up on pressure, but then our minds start to race, and we really want to get engaged in something. And then turning to our music area, we reflected we've been working with eight scales to date uh, and we've really been focusing on the one you just heard a little bit this is a brand new hexatonic scale do we want to just use randomly generated cadences or kind of more systematically generate a lot of them we like our improvisation so far but it's only 48 seconds we want something that gets us up to the i don't know the three minute mark or so six minutes <laughs> So that usually requires systematically generating cadence sequence options. So that's what we buckled down to do. Uh, so we started a new improvisation, uh, focusing only on the hexatonic scale for now. And we began to go through our tonality reference area, which is here, and then just work through all 56 chords and pick out the chords that, for example, had root C. Pick out the chords that had neutral G. Pick out the chords that had both. Pick out the chords that had note A, which is no function, etc., etc., etc. So in the end, we now have 18 cadence groups based on note function that we can work with. And you heard us just kind of demonstrating a little bit uh, on one of those cadence groups. So what we're going to do is kind of demonstrate a little bit more the whole to play the whole thing would take three minutes and what we're really going to do is pick interesting sequences out of it for example if we only wanted things that had C in them we could stay in the minor scale and play a tonic uh, we need to slow this down in order not to lose it there a tonic then a subdominant and then a nice dominant Da, 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 da. And we could do the major version, which would be in rule order this one. And we could do that. The thing is, that's a very traditional way to approach composing. So we could do something very different. We could say, you know what, let's use chords that have. Uh, uh, both of the none notes here. So we could go tonic, subdominant, dominant, and jump over to the major and compose something like that. Um, and you can just see there's many, many different sequences here. And each one of these sequences would give us a different kind of backbone and a different kind of melody. So that concludes today's stream. Our ideas for next time are to, in fact, keep listening to those cadence groupings and select pieces out from them that we would like to work further with. Now, we also identified several corrections we had to make to how we had categorized our chords and fixed that all up in the process of generating these cadence groups. Um, a shout out to Mr. Spatz who came back. Haven't seen Mr. Spatz since last week. And we appreciate it. Do come back. Do take care. And do keep on streaming.